I put sunglasses on, do I look less dead? Yeah, because it covers my entire face. Hey guys, thanks for being here. I'm Christina and I'm a reseller. Here on this channel, I do a lot of thrifting. I find new homes for old things that have been left behind. And most importantly, I do a lot of laughing. You can follow along my journey on Instagram at little.black.hanger and you can shop all my amazing finds on Poshmark at Little Black Hanger without the vowels. Why am I wearing a cardigan in this 96 degree weather, you might ask? Because I'm a psychopath. Happy Friday, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I should probably turn down my air so you guys can hear me. <laughs> it's amateur hour in these streets, sis. We are at Goodwill today. I thought I'd do a fun little like thrift with me. I am looking for some things for myself specifically. Um, I've got a list. I will put that list on the screen right here so you guys can look at it, see what we're looking for today. So I have a table in my room in my bedroom that I was using for a desk but I just never use it as a desk I either use my bed as a desk or I use the couch as a desk and I'm just never going to be a desk person and I just need to come to terms with that and use that space more wisely so we have a very small bathroom and the counter space is just not it's non-existent so basically i'm going to turn that little area into a makeup vanity so i am looking for some containers some organizers for my makeup um so yeah that's mainly what i'm looking for and then i am looking for some decor items for our bedroom trying to switch up the vibe in there so hopefully we find some good stuff i'm just going to put it out in the universe right now we are going to find some good stuff you heard it here first, folks. Let's see what we can find. These little ducks are so cute, but one of them has been decapitated, so that's kind of sad. Um, I'm looking for some floating shelves, but I don't see any. I see one. There's just one, and it's kind of not the best, so we're going to keep looking. I see these signs down here. They're like um, wedding signs. It says, happily ever after starts here, and then eat, drink, and be married but shipping those, there's such an awkward link, would be a pain in the ass. So, gonna skip that. This is a very strange take on the nativity. <laughs> is this to teach kids Santa and Jesus at the same time? I don't, I don't get it. Let's go in the Christmas aisle, as if I need Christmas things. So I like this mirror, but it's just like really gold, like really, really gold. And I am more like on the brass tones. I could paint it, but it's already $8, so probably not. This Garfield mug is from 1978, and I kind of like like just how it looks. I don't know that 70s kind of graphic. It's only 77 cents. They're only going for about like six dollars on eBay, so I don't know if it's worth it, but it's really cute. We are back home, and it is actually a different day, hence why I look different. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got for my own house. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of home decor DIYs within the next few weeks so 
A lot of this stuff is for DIYs and some of it I'm just leaving as is, but I will show you how I'm going to style these items. So you will see these things in a future video. It's not just going to be me just showing you the things. And then I got some stuff for Poshmark as well, so I will show you that at the end. I picked up this little like plaque sign. I really like these little plaques. You can literally find these at any thrift store. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm planning on doing with it because then that ruins the surprise, you know? But anyways, I love these little plaques, but I don't necessarily like this. So that's a hint what I'm going to do with this. I'm trying to go with like a almost like Harry Potter, but not like Harry Potter inspired. Obviously, I'm going to have like a couple like Harry Potter things in the room, but it's more like Harry Potter style inspired. So like how I imagine that Hogwarts would be decorated, just very like whimsical, kind of like very like magical. It's just magical. That's the kind of theme that I'm going for. I've got a lot of like wood tones, a lot of brass tones, a lot of like rich velvets um so we're working on it it's a it's a work in progress but i picked up this little guy he is a solid heavy brass deer and he is sad he's a little grumpy deer and i just thought he was so cute i could not leave him this kind of reminds me of um uh, lily and snape's patronus which is a deer so it kind of reminded me of that it just looked very like harry potter to me that's what I'm going for. Like if I see something, I'm like, hmm, that looks kind of Harry Potter-esque. That's what I'm going for. That's my little theme. If anybody has better descriptive words, let me know down in the comments below. So then I picked up this little um, hourglass, which has absolutely no use for my life. Uh, but I just thought it was really cool. I like the wood detail. And again, witchy. That's what I was looking for. Like very witchy, kind of wizardy magic magic. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be shouting words at you throughout this video as I think of them. Just thought it was a cute little like shelf decorator. You know, it's good to have little tchotchkes laying around the house. Um, and you see the vibe I'm going for. Do you see it? Are you envisioning it? Hopefully. Then I picked up two pillows. This one I'm actually making a case for. So I really just needed a pillow that was kind of like a nude color or like a white. So it wouldn't show through the fabric that I have to cover the pillow. So that's why I got this. I just needed a plain little square pillow. And then I got this bigger pillow, which is like a velvet black. Now I wasn't going to get this because the pillow that I have in mind, I'm actually going to be using like this fabric um as is it obviously needs to be lint rolled and washed um but i'm going to be diying something on the front of it i'm not going to be covering the fabric and i originally wanted like a blue velvet but then i saw it and i was like am i really like realistically am i ever going to find like the right shade of blue and like black black works too i'm not mad about the black so this will work um, and this will be again in a future DIY. All right, last piece for my home is this Ikea. It's called the Strala. Strala. I'm just going to stop trying to pronounce it because there's no way I'm getting it correct. Uh, but it's just like this star floor lamp. And I thought it was really cool. It's new in box. All the pieces are, you know, unopened. I originally was going to sell this on Poshmark. But when I went and looked at this on the Ikea website, they're only sold for like $12. So really I paid $3 for it. There's not really a whole lot of like profit there. You know what I mean? Um, and actually it kind of goes with like my like magical theme. I'll put a picture, a stock photo on the screen so you guys can see what it actually looks like. I'm going to be putting this together and I'll show you guys how I style this in a future video. Let's move on to Poshmark stuff. Um, I'll start with the clothing. The first item is just this Jack Daniels t-shirt. Super cute. Um, it's a size, size extra large. It's like a, it's like a unisex fit. It's a little bit thinner than like actual t-shirt material. Probably going to list it for uh 17 to 19 dollars and it will go under the three for 25 category in case you're interested and the second and final clothing piece is this amazing leather moto jacket it is by torrid it has all these amazing little studs on it and embroidery this is 
brand new without tags. This doesn't look like it was ever worn. Um, it's so freaking pretty. It is a uh, torrid size zero, which I believe is a 1X. I could be wrong. I just thought this was gorgeous. And comps on this specific style, like there's a couple other ones that have different like embroidery on it, but this specific one, um, comps look about between 65 to a hundred dollars so i'm probably going to list it in about like the 70 dollar 75 dollar range there's one listed right now the lowest is 60 dollars i think so i'm probably going to put mine a little bit in the middle I'll probably do about 75 dollars i know it's not in season and it'll probably sit for a little bit but that's okay i couldn't leave it behind so okay so now we're going to get to home decor for poshmark I only have four items, but they're just cute little items. And they these will all go in my 3 for 25 category. So first up is this cute little milk jug. The ceramic milk jug. It is so stinking cute. It is handmade, I believe. Um, it has a little, like, somebody, somebody's name carved in the bottom there. But it's just so stinking adorable. You could leave this as is. You could put like a little like one stem flower out of this. I just thought this was so cute. And the little patchwork detail on it is so adorable. Probably going to list it for about $15. Um, and again, this will go under the 3 for 25 category. Then I picked up this cute little brass paper clip statue thing. It's just so stinking cute. This on a desk would just be so cute. I don't know what it is about this thing. It's just adorable and I couldn't leave it. Probably gonna list it for about 10 to $12. Then I picked up this cute little wicker planter basket. You could even put like makeup brushes in here if you wanted to, but it's shaped like a little elephant. Please excuse my washing machine going off. Um, yeah, I just thought this was so cute. He's just a little elephant and he's adorable and who doesn't like elephants, yes. All right, and last but not least is this cute little wooden tray. I imagine like some crystals on here, some essential oils, some sage if you have it, or you could put jewelry on it, whatever your heart desires. Um, you could line up like little candles on it and put it on your coffee table. The possibilities are endless with this little tray, so I thought I would just go ahead and pick it up. I love like the lines on it, it's so pretty. Um, it was made in the Philippines, so I really like versatile pieces like this because I think it's so you can style them in so many ways and like who doesn't need a good wooden tray? I'm tempted to keep this for myself. Can you tell? <laughs> Alrighty, so that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button and join our family. We would love to have you. I put new videos out every Tuesday and Friday, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye, guys.